Hello all, this is Nikum and welcome to very important session of NIC on Direct Recruitment 2020. Okay, on Apna Government channel. So, very big news coming from NIC on Direct Recruitment is that the form date is extended now. Okay, and the, now it is it will be 1st of June. So, those who didn't apply till now, you can apply now. Okay, if you are from your CS and Electronics field and this is the eligibility for uh, all the do both the posts that is your scientist B and technical assistant A, right? So in this video we will discuss your exam date, okay, expected exam date, okay, and other queries that is your form related queries, your general queries, all the queries I will address in this video, okay? So we will consider all the factors, okay, all the important th assumptions for to make our expected exam date and then we will get our exam date which will be 90% correct, okay? Obviously. So let's start with this. Let's see what is in menu today. That is uh, part one is your exam date. Part two is your eligibility. Part three is caste certificate queries. Okay. Part four is degree certificate queries and part five is general query. So you have to watch this query session also because if you did, did any mistake while the filling the form, then it's time to rectify it now. Right. So let's begin our video now. So very important question of NIC that is expected exam date currently right so you know third time your form uh, form date is extended now okay it's, it, it is a uh, third time so see now your form date is first of june okay first of june now after first of june okay i am assuming uh, the corona pandemic effect in india will be minimum okay and all the all our routine will be again restart in after first of june okay so this is the assumption, important assumption. Then after 1st of June, they will start scrutinize your application, right? Scrutinize of your application. So this process will take approximately two months. Okay, this is the minimum, minimum I guess I am taking, right? Into consideration. So this is your minimum. After scrutiny of application, they will find a duplicate application, then they will upload on the website, okay? So this is the process they do. And then your exam center allotment and issue of admit card, right? So suppose for this process, they will take again your one month, okay? Which is minimum, again minimum. So from 1st of June, okay? If two months and two plus one, this is your three months, right? Means July, August, September, right? And this is the minimum case. So you can expect your exam in September or October, right? In September to October first week, you can expect anywhere between this, right? Which is very important for you. So accordingly, you can now plan and you can or uh, you can modify your strategy accordingly, right? So this is the minimum case. The worst case scenario is this. Suppose they will take here one month extra. Okay, worst case. And again here one month extra means five months. You know, you have now five months, right? Means your exam will be in November or December. Okay, so this is worst case. You don't consider it. Just be with it, okay. Be with this, and if you are following me for longer, then you will know that my expect, my assumption, my expectations, or my predictions are always work, right? So this is your exam date for NIC recruitment 2020. Okay. Next eligibility. Now those who didn't apply till now, you can apply till 1st of June, right? You can fill the form for both the posts, that is scientist B and te technical assist A. Okay, that is for 495 vacancies. This is a big opportunity. So don't miss this opportunity, right? So for scientist B, you should have MSc or BSc, MCA and BE BTEC and MAM Tech. Okay, in computer and electronics fields. Okay, and there are a combination of uh, fields also are there. Okay, in notification you will see. But the main streams are this. That is your computer and your, your electronics. Next, for technical assistant and scientific assistant, you should have MCA and MSc again, BEB Tech, MEM Tech and MS. Okay. So, these people can apply for technical assistant A and scientist, uh, scientific assistant A. Right. And obviously, you can apply for both also. That is, if you have done MSc, then you can apply for scientist B also and for technical assistant A also. So, okay. So, this is your eligibility. Okay. Let's take your queries now. That is, uh, cast certificate related queries. Okay. So those who send me queries on WhatsApp group on uh, special uh, on chat, so I consider them, okay, and I will uh, answer them now. So first see whether you should give your caste certificate in state and center format, okay. Now see, 
in NSV website they gave you format and that is your central format okay so you should provide them your caste certificate in that format only otherwise you will be get rejected okay this is very important so you should provide them central format certificate second question that is can I provide them central format certificate at time of DV or interview so yes you can but just mail them okay take the permission mail from them that is uh, they may uh, they will reply you to upload the self declaration okay which is very important because uh, two stum uh, some students they give mail like that if you apply uh, if you upload the self declaration then it's okay you can produce the central format certificate uh, at the time of interview or obviously document verification but if you didn't get that mail so your first work is to get that mail only right so you can apply the self declaration and after that you can uh, apply to your tehsil and you will you will get your central card certificate okay and at the time of interview or dv you can give them so points to mention in self declaration okay so you have to mention like this only due to lockdown you cannot produce the certificate okay and obviously i will produce the certificate in uh, during the time of interview or uh, document verification so this thing you have to mention just normal okay and you have to upload okay second query is that is degree certificate related queries okay so what to upload provisional or original certificate okay now see they either want your provisional or original certificate but they want compulsory okay so if you have if you upload the mark sheet then no you will be rejected okay they compulsory want your provisional and original degree certificate so this is very important point to remember okay second can i give provisional certificate later okay so yes you can give provisional and original certificate later but again the same condition that is to take the permission mail from nic okay they will reply you with same email that is to upload the self declaration and in self declaration you have to mention all the important points okay third is your final year students eligible or not so final students for this exam are not eligible okay so this is very important you have to uh, consider it okay next are general queries okay so what are the general queries so let's see the first query that is should I fill form for the both the post now see if you are applying for any of the post okay uh, one post that is your scientist post have 208 something vacancy okay exact number I don't remember now and other post you have uh, 288 vacancy that is your technical uh, technical assistant A right so see if you are applying for both post and you are eligible for uh, both the post okay and if you are applying for only one post then you are competing for 208 vacancies if you apply for both the posts, then you, you will be competing for 495 vacancies. Okay. So you can see here the probability of get, getting selection is increased now. Okay. So I will recommend you if you are eligible for both the posts, then apply compulsory apply for this. Okay. And don't lose this biggest opportunity of the year. So you should not you lose this opportunity. Right. So compulsory apply for this post. You have now sufficient time to prepare. So yes, you can apply. Can I apply now to other post? Okay, now some student applied to scientist B and they wish to apply for technical assistant and some student applied for technical assistant and they wish to apply for scientist B. So yes, you can apply for apply for other post now. Just you have to two important things. Okay, you have to note that is you have to provide them different email ID. Okay, and different mobile number now for the second application and other information will be remain same but your email ID and your mobile number will be changed now. Okay, so this is very important. So yes, after this video, go to NIC website and apply for the post. I am CS students. Should I skip electronic this, uh, syllabus? Right. This is a very important and famous question. You are uh, getting. You are obviously you will get. You are in WhatsApp group or Telegram group where you are. Right. So yes, you have to do because without electronic syllabus, without aptitude syllabus, or without CS syllabus, you cannot crack this exam. Okay. Don't waste your uh, five to six months prepare for other exam if you are thinking like this because now the situation is that you all the students okay whether it is guest student or professionals or other students or electronic students or CS students okay all the students now have enough time for preparation okay and four to five months are enough for this exam okay enough to cover all the syllabus if you are preparing dedicatedly for NIC only okay mark my statement so Yes, if you skip, then you will obviously out of the race. So don't skip. You have to do electronics, aptitude and all the syllabus which they mentioned.
I am electron student. It is possible to crack this exam? Yes, it's possible. Okay, because you have four to five months. You have to be dedicated. You have to give your uh, dedicated uh, preparation for this NIC, right? So yes, you can do. Obviously, your electron part is good. So just focus on CS part and aptitude part. That's it. And obviously, you can cover CS part in three to four months. It is not that uh, much challenging because the only thing is that uh, the first uh, programming chapter, okay, that is your C programming. That is your data structure algorithm are important and other uh, you cover digital logic in your electronics also right computer organization also they are in the uh, in electronics field so no problem and computer networking you guys know very well right so there is no problem you can obviously do and crack this exam okay and give tough competition to CS public also tell me about your mentorship program yes mentorship all for this so mentorship program okay already lots of videos are there lots of information is there if you want any specific information yet then you have to check the description link in description i give all the information okay just contact me and i will give you all the information regarding mentorship program okay and just check the master prize also because in the master prize also i give information about mentorship program and all the other important re uh, information re related uh, videos for nilet okay are there so check master playlist after this video in description below can I join the program now? Yes, we are starting our third batch now. Okay, on third batch, we will start on uh, from third May. Okay, third May onwards. Yes, we will start. So yes, you can join now. Just go to description and contact on the given number and you will get all the information and all the uh, information related to registration and other process. Okay. I am working professional. Can I crack this highly competitive exam? So yes, you can crack this exam. Okay, don't fear now because you have enough months for preparation okay just you need a focus or dedicated path for it and i will strictly recommend you to join the mentorship program okay so we will discuss your i will give you plan all the things are there you can get the information okay obviously so i will strictly recommend you to join the mentorship program okay and yes you can crack this exam now because you have enough time okay to preparation so yes if you didn't join our whatsapp group number seven okay then you can join the link is in description below Okay, and if you have any query or any doubt now which I have remained untouched, so less you can contact me in WhatsApp group and you can share with me your doubts. So I will I will make the videos on it later, right? So you can uh, register now for mentorship program that is for third batch. Okay, so we start from third May, and if you are new, then you can subscribe to the channel and just remember to press this bell icon, which is very important for you, right? So with this, we will end our today's session. All the best.